Okay, I'm holding, hand holding the camera, so pardon the uh, movement of the camera. I just wanted to show you something here. I opened up a banner program to uh, run off a horse anatomy picture that I had scanned into my computer uh, to the size I want. I want uh, up here at the ruler, this is using Print Master Gold, by the way, and I'm using the banner program. I don't know how to get rid of that yellow background, but uh, anyway. Um, I wanted the horse to be about 11 inches from uh, here to uh, there. And up here is the ruler, so I'm going to pretty much get the horse right up to the ruler. Oop. I'm going to get the horse right up to the ruler at the top and get his buns right up next to the beginning of the ruler. And then I just drag down on the corner till the front chest uh, reaches 11 inches which it's already gone past it so I've got to go back a little bit and I just keep playing with it until I get it to uh, the size I want and the reason I'm picking this size and I, and I don't have to be really accurate I just need the uh, print to be uh, as close as I can to the size that I want and uh, then I put it back on the page now I'm doing Two, two sets of prints of two pages each of the horse. And then I'll just tape the two pages together. This is with the division right here. And I just go up here and hit uh, print. And uh, print it out. That's all I have to do. And then I just, uh, once I've printed that half, I move the horse up to where the hoofs just touch the... Uh, border of the uh, page and then I hit print again and uh, now it's just a matter of uh, lining up all the, the prints and uh, taping them together and that's how I get a print the size that I want for the horse that I want. I determined the size of the horse by the uh, size of the base. Alright now it's just a matter of uh, trimming the excess white area. I'm not going to do it all the way around the paper and I'm not even worried about getting it right on the button. I just want to get it trimmed out and I'm going to do it right to there. That's just so I can line up. These are the rejects right here. Uh, let's see. This is the one I want. And all I do is line up the drawing like that. I want to put it on here, just like that. That's a little crooked, but that doesn't matter. It all works up in the long run. Now, I just line up the drawing as best I can without getting it pressed down on the tape. There we go. There we go. Off just a little bit there. I'm not worried about it being super fine and super realist. I mean, accurate. It's just need a, need a general way of doing it. But do you see how I join the pages? All right, I've got the uh, armature. Uh, picture uh, worked out uh, and you can see I've got a base and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these two pieces of uh, wood to the base they're uh, narrow and that will be the, act as the base for the piece I want to raise it up high enough that uh, there would be enough room for them to make it a hollow base and they can attach it to wood and stuff like that uh, the rectangle uh, you know I'm, there's just no way of making this a round base so I'm just going to go ahead and make it a, a square a rectangle base. And what I'm doing is trying to get a horse that's a proportional to the, the base itself. And that's why I went with this picture here. I cut off uh, the top of the head here only because I didn't need all the other uh, rest of the, the horse to go with it. Just to give me the uh, features of the horse's uh, bone structure. This, this actually, uh, he'll actually have to be lengthened just a little bit because this this drawing is off just a little bit. You have to sort of be careful 
uh, when you're taking drawings from books and scanning them into your computer and using them for armatures, they're not always accurate to do. All right, uh, heading to Salt Lake City tomorrow morning and uh, hopefully back by tomorrow night with my van repaired. I'll be uh, seeing my son in Salt Lake too tomorrow. He's going to pick me up at the airport where I got to drop off the car. All right, have a great night, everybody.